Halam Wasif describes himself as a revolutionary. He's a publisher, but in his spare time, he makes videos and songs with a political message. His latest project is a campaign called Being Heard. The young revolutionaries who took part in the Egyptian uprising more than two years ago had a unified message, topple a dictator and bring democracy. The so-called Facebook revolution inspired the Arab world and other countries. Today, many say those leaders seem to have disappeared. What happened is that the military and the, the policies of Abdel Fattah al-Sisi have simply silenced and turned off the volume on anything which does not support their narrative. We don't know who is with or against or thinks differently. We just simply don't know. Everybody's silenced. Wasab's work has become popular on the internet. He says unlike two years ago, he won't take to the streets or be part of the demonstrations. He'll stay home. We are all in ha under house arrest right now, okay? Curfew, emergency state, intimidation, so on. Political movements and protesters in Egypt often try to become associated with an area of the city, like a square or a building. For example, this is the famous Tahrir Square or Freedom Square. Of course, many revolutionaries say that the people here are not at all what they used to be two years ago. Now it belongs to remnants of the Mubarak regime, they say. The Rabah area became the epicenter of the pro-Morsi movement after the coup, before they were violently evicted. So they want a neutral territory, a third option, or a third square. Where are the revolutionaries? Where have they gone? These, uh, these days, I think they are uh, uh, psychologically killed, mm, very, very depressed. The group Third Square has 20,000 followers on Facebook. Galal says just as the previous January 25th revolution movement, it wants to inform and coordinate through social media. But operating in a post-coup environment is difficult, at times dangerous. Wasif says many are scared and intimidated. He's urging people to bang pots and pans from balconies when the clock hits the curfew time each night. He says Egypt has not been a true democracy yet, and politicians should make way for real change. His latest song was inspired by a lullaby for children. It says, don't worry, freedom is coming. It will be here very soon. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Cairo.